Okay, so uh, we are going to do our most anticipated game segment for you guys now. I know I have more than, than Jadeye does, so I don't know what format we're going to use yet. But then I also took some polls. Uh, well, we had a poll. Nemesis as a whole had a poll. And let me start us off with uh, checking the results from that. I believe I can check the results from that. I think I have to vote in it, though. Um, I voted. That. You did vote? I did vote. Yes, I did. Echo, uh, turn the AC off. <laughs> uh, I don't want to vote for any of these games, so I, I really don't want to... Uh, Okay, so it's literally a four-way tie, basically. Uh, Jesus. Hogwarts Legacy is number one with 32%. Final Fantasy 16, 22. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, 22. And Starfield made 22. Um, so with that said, I am going to give you guys, uh, after we give our most wanted games list, I am going to destroy all the Hogwarts Legacy stands. The Twitter, uh, the Twitter one, isn't a, is it a four-way vote? Or isn't it tied? Oh. No, you said that right. Hogwarts I'm Legacy gonna, 1. I'm, Todd's Hogwarts Legacy 1, yeah, because Maz went on to his three other ult accounts to vote into it. <laughs> sure he did. Um, why don't you start? Why don't you start? And then I'll add, when, I'm, when we're done, I will destroy Hogwarts Legacy and explain why you all should not be looking forward to that game one iota. So definitely, like, Starfield is the first thing that comes to my mind. I know that, like, what we saw wasn't exactly, like, the most perfect trailer, but... I'm always down for Bethesda titles and like just getting lost in it. And the game, I mean, just visually, I mean, so far it looks pretty interesting. A lot of different runs at seven aspects. frames a second, pretty good. Yeah, no, uh, RTX on with uh, every single, you know, reflective water planet ever showing off all the stars. Um, no, Starfield is definitely up on my top list. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll look much better. And God oh, knows yeah. if I have been a year I'm pretty since sure seen it, it, I think. Yeah, we're. I bet you anything we'll get a like a launch date of honestly end of the year twenty twenty three. They're gonna. Is it want in to November? Make this I thought it was possible. confirmed November. They haven't confirmed anything. No, I thought they yeah, confirmed that, November. I don't even think Redfall has a really steady really steady there. I feel like you're right about that, but um, no Starfield. That's gonna be spring too. though. What what we're expecting? Yeah, Redfall spring one hundred percent. If not somewhere like beginning of summer, early summer. Yeah. Um second game uh is going to actually be uh resident evil 4 um, remake uh third and it's technically like a tie like second place is resident evil but also dead space remake yeah that deciding um, between those two like which one you're more excited for is really hard so so i'm more excited for resident evil 4 because i've actually never played resident evil 4 oh um, wow so uh i'm actually pretty stoked for to play a resident evil 4 for the first time Hopefully. yeah uh Dead Space is like, I already know what's going to happen. I didn't realize that they added so much like changes to Dead Space 1. Like they gave Isaac dialogue in this game. Dude, his face. Oh. It looks not the same. <laughs> I didn't like it. This is the Capcom face change. Oh man, I did not like it at all. He's like there, a ginger now. I don't know if they did. I don't know if they changed his voice actor or not, but. I saw a comment and somebody got like the most likes on it saying to hear Isaac's voice again is the, is music to my ears. I was like, that doesn't sound like the same Isaac I know. Unless this is like Isaac before he was clearly traumatized by the by the horrors of the by, NSG issue. By in some outer space. <laughs> um, so like Resident Evil and as well as um, that game are like tied for second. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy, I did I'm still pretty stoked for it. Like, I, I didn't, vote I didn't for know it, you know you're a Harry Potter fan. I love, I love Harry Potter. I just don't I don't simp for it as hard as like everybody else does. I had my mass. moments, right? I I read the mo I've read all the books. I watched all the movies, uh, and I've enjoyed a Harry Potter for a very long time. It's just whenever they try to create new content for Harry Potter, it's very hard for me to like be invested into another it. reason well, I, why you shouldn't be excited for it but well, you're I'm absolutely right i i'm excited for this because it doesn't follow harry this is an entirely new 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 experience for hogwarts and funny enough whenever i was going to school for game art and design um uh, one of my uh my game arts teacher was saying like all right you have to come up with a uh commercial idea to sell uh, what would get picked up and published and stuff like that. And my idea was actually this Harry Potter game. And quite literally, I even named it Hogwarts. I didn't want to call it Harry Potter. 
anything else. I just wanted to call it just Hogwarts. And that was it. And I pitched that and he goes, and, and I got like a top like three, like approval from it from him. He was just like, all right, this would win immediately because it has Harry Potter tied to it. But yeah. he goes, second, he's like, the, the game concepts make a lot of sense. And he goes, this is literally Skyrim, but Harry Potter. And it works. People <laughs> love Skyrim. People love Harry Potter. How this has not been done yet, I have no idea, but Warner Brothers needs to catch on to it. And I was like, heck yeah, man. I got a solid grade that semester. But <laughs> uh, I'm excited to see Harry Potter get this kind of treatment. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was probably one of the best Harry Potter RPGs you'll, you'll ever. You'll get yours. You just, you just give me a minute. <laughs> Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets game was awesome. So it was the first one. Or so was the first one game was pretty awesome. Like, I go back into like my blockbuster video game rental days in Harry Potter's like Probably like the second game that comes Niantic to my mind. Niantic made a Harry Potter game, an AR Harry Potter game. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I, I looked didn't it up. Know that. I looked it up today. I didn't know it until today. I was Googling stuff. And uh, yeah, it's shut down already. But they It's shut one. down already. It barely lasted a year, man. I was like, that was the biggest waste of Harry Potter franchise. Niantic's <laughs> had that, though. Like, ever since they made Pokemon Go, like, I thought, like, okay, they're, 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 they're like, really onto something. They're going to be, like everything they touch is going to turn to gold, you know, and like mm-hmm. every single one since Pokemon go hasn't hit the same. I think the problem with Harry Potter, I'm, I'm, I'm segueing a little bit more than I need to, but the problem with Harry Potter is just, it hasn't been relevant since like 2000 and like 12, whenever like yeah. the last movie came out. And since then there just has been no additional fill besides like, um, the boy who lived, which Ezra Miller. really no one gives a shit. Uh, and as well as, um, the newest movies, uh, I forgot what they were called. Was it yeah, like Fantastic Beasts or whatever? Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts. Beasts. No one, dude, no one cares about Fantastic Beasts. And the way that it's been written to also try so hard to just counter everything J.K. Rowling's done over the past, like, almost near 20 years of Harry Potter that she had. Like, they try to, they try so hard to, like, keep her out of that as much as they can. And just it's just not a good, they're not good films at all um the first one was cool it was cool because i was like heck yeah dude harry potter's back i can't wait to watch this had a little decent fun with it watched the second one i was like oh god this was this was a bad movie and i never watched the third one i never watched uh, any of them so that's that's honestly uh it technically like my lo- most looking forward to games of 2023 i am looking forward to seeing what halo infinite brings for the next year mm-hmm. because we will have three new seasons back to back and the yeah. actual order of what they're expected to be yeah. super excited to see what halo does and honestly i'm really interested to see where call of duty is uh mm-hmm. with modern warfare 2 because this will be the year of no new call of duty game yeah how are they going to rewrite the game yeah how are they going to rewrite the game how are they going to keep me coming back and their latest raid uh, i played a little bit of it it's actually pretty cool it's yeah. literally destiny styled but it's not i don't hate it it's very mm-hmm. linear, very very approachable. I liked playing it, and I've been enjoying a little bit of the time with DMZ with some of the friends on Discord. Mm-hmm. All right, um, we'll get the Harry my Harry Potter destruction uh, in a minute, but uh, I'll go through my games first. Uh, so I did ten, and then I did honorable mentions because the honorable mentions have no chance of coming out in twenty twenty three. But I wanted to say I'm looking forward to them anyway. Uh, I did them in order. So number 10 is Wizard with a Gun. It is a Devolver game. Uh, it's kind of like a survival game, but it's Devolver style. It's literally you wizards with guns. So I, it's, mm-hmm. it's Devolver. I had to show Devolver some love. Uh, number nine, Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2. Uh, I love the first Space Marine and Warhammer 40K is super hot right now with both uh, Dark Tide. A lot of people loving that. And then the the Henry Cavill announcement last week mm-hmm. about the the Amazon s- series, uh, I saw Hoodguard, our own uh, nemesis streamer, has been doing insane uh, numbers on TikTok with a uh, Warhammer 40k TikTok. So good for him. Nice. Number eight, uh, Atomic Heart, and this is on there almost exclusively because Doom composer Mick Gordon is doing the soundtrack, and I will play anything that uh, Mick Gordon is attached to. Uh, number seven is Nightingale. May or may not come out in 2023, but I'm still looking for a survival game that really grabs me, and it's former Bioware de- devs. So, uh, looking forward to that one. Redfall came in at number six. Uh, I did not, I did not, uh, 
I'm not really an RPG guy. Well, I am, but it's certain RPGs. So Starfield, I'm really, I'm honestly not planning to play it. But um, mm -hmm. Arcane, really, really good. Redfall Man, it is a, a little, little bit of a lie. diversion for them. It's kind of like a co-op game, a little different. It's. Uh, I think uh, Redfall is Arcane Austin. I don't know which, I, I think it was uh, uh, the Washington, not the Washington, but like a completely different location that did Deathloop. They've got at least two studios, yeah. They have two studios. I know Arcane Austin is doing Redfall. Um, I don't know what it is, but like when I played Deathloop, I was like, here's the bones of a really, really good game that has evolved from Dishonored. Why is it bad? <laughs> it won Game of the I, Year in many places. But I, I don't agree. know how. The core, the core gameplay mechanics did not feel right to me. I agree. The, 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 the story is it's somewhat interesting. I just I think I know what I hate about it, and it does this thing that Gears of War Judgment did. I don't know if you played that, but no. they turned they turned the story into an arcade experience, and I hate that so much. That just turns me off in such a big way. Mm -hmm. After you complete each mission, you are greeted with like this menu to like ex like do whatever it is, like upgrade your stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, just something that, like, what Gears of War Judgment did is that they arcaded the, the story, which is like, hey, here's what you scored after completing that campaign mission. You yeah. got an A out of it. It's like uh, post that Assassin's Creed yeah. game. Then, no, they, that's fine. Like, it, some of it gets away with it, but Gears, just for me, it was not that. It's like Assassin's Creed did the same thing with, like, yeah. Black Flag and, like, Unity. It's just like they, they, they graded your, like, performance, and I just, I don't mm -hmm. care for that. Deathloop didn't do that exactly, but they still did it enough for it to pause the game in a way I don't want them to. I just mm -hmm. want to keep playing. I want a smooth transition between those levels. Mm -hmm. So Deathloop weirded the hell out of me, and I'm scared that Redfall is going to do the same exact thing. I don't think it will. Well, I, I think but Redfall is going to be, and, and I'm, I'm totally speculating, but I think Redfall is going to be a much different style game because it is like a co-op game by nature. It's almost like a Left 4 Dead, Back 4 Blood style thing. So I think it might not be as egregious in no matter what by nature of the, the like the subgenre of the game, even if they do do it. Yeah, I, I'm excited that Redfall is like co-op, like four player yeah, co-op. Yeah. Like that, that's cool as hell. I, I want to play that with the homies a lot. Yeah, the world just looks really cool. So I'm excited. Uh, Alan Wake 2 is my number five. I just realized I went pretty heavy on horror, which, uh, you know, Alan Wake 2 is supposedly like full blown horror and uh, I'm excited for it. I did like the first game. Uh, the Xbox Live Arcade pseudo sequel was actually really fun too. So hoping mm -hmm. for sequel to be good. Now is where, like you said, got really tough. I did Dead Space remake number four, Resident Evil four number three. It's really <laughs> hard to choose. I've played both, and they're both remakes too. So it's kind of funny that you know that's towards the top of the list, but they're both classics. Uh, and then I had Diablo. This was tough for me too, and arguable whether this should be allowed or not i did diablo 4 and number two uh, i love diablo love blizzard uh looking forward to the mmo light elements of diablo 4 and having mm -hmm. just an evolution of the gameplay formula my number one is a uh, halo project Tatanka because we don't know it could be its own app and its own game we don't know it might just be mm -hmm. some a new mode for halo infinite but i put it as my number one because just a huge Halo fan, and still, every time I fired up Halo Infinite this weekend, I'm like, this game just still just feels so friggin' good. Like it's getting so much better. It really is. Like, I, it's not moving at the pace I want it to, or I think the rest of the community does. But like, <laughs> I mean, like the it, it's it's making significant upgrades. And yeah. is it me or just, does it feel like the upgrades just you just know that there is like a very, very, very small team of like five to 10 people putting together the entirety of all of the stuff that we have because I don't it know. never feels significant despite how significant they are. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know the one thing, this is a total tangent, but I played uh, one of the Nuketown remakes in, in Forge mm -hmm. uh, and I could not stop laughing because somebody literally, like, you know where you first spawn on Nuketown and Call of Duty, like behind either house yeah, on behind either side? Houses. Yeah. Somebody put an elite cooking hot dogs on a barbecue grill back there. <laughs> and I just could not stop laughing. Like every time I spot, it's just like there's this elite in front of you barbecuing hot dogs. Um, um 
I, I actually didn't put this on here, but replaced is also one of my most look forward to games of 2023. Why, why can I not think of? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The last night look alike. Mm-hmm. Like replaced with so damn good. I I didn't put Diablo on there only because like I want to play that game a lot. I also want to play it with this stinky person behind me because she swore up and down she loved playing Diablo too. And I was like, what if I bought a Diablo three on the Switch? Would you play with me? And she was like, I don't know, maybe. And then she got absolutely consumed in Valorant. She will not. <laughs> she still hasn't even opened up her copy of Pokemon that I bought her. Oh, That's man. how consumed with Valorant she is. Um, as a matter of fact, I. Uh, completed my Pokédex. I caught all 400 Pokémon. Uh, but um, no, I really want to play Diablo 4. I'm looking forward to the MMO experiences too. It's not on my top list, but I just know when that game comes out, I will be probably it. be playing that a lot. Yeah. Like, I know I will be playing it a lot. Yeah. I loved the Diablo 3 when that came out. I know they're not going to do the same exact thing here, but I loved it enough to just want to pick up, pick up another Diablo game for sure. My uh, honorable mentions, because I don't believe that any of these will come out in 2023, were uh, Roger, uh, Riot's Project L, the fighting game, Riot's MMORPG, because I fully believe that that's going to like literally take over the world. Uh, yep. Kojima's Xbox game, Blizzard's survival game, the Hotline Miami developer's next game, if that ever comes out. Uh, Splitgate 2 is what we're calling it. What? I will say, wasn't the same Need for Speed team the one also making Dead Space? What? Yeah, the people who made who are making the Dead Space remake are made Need for Speed games. Oh, did they? <laughs> I did yeah. not know that. <laughs> yeah, they made Need for Speed games. I was like, that's concerning. And then they like gave out like full thirty minute documentaries about like, yeah, we're trying our best to like be yeah, really very transparent. With very transparent they're like we also have people from inside the community guiding us i was like heck yes dude that's what i want to hear yeah and then my final game again not 2023 although you can play it right now uh dead drop midnight society dr disrespect we talked about it today i, I heard but i have not seen it yet i heard that he, he talked about it though he talked about it he said that we're gonna get a snapshot very soon he actually said a tomorrow. couple of days we're gonna get a new tomorrow. snapshot yeah it's confirmed tomorrow uh Oh, confirm tomorrow? Okay, cool. But he was talking about it, and he was just like, he, he sounds very confident. Like, hearing yeah. Doc confident makes me feel confident um, in a lot of it's things. He's not confident, and, man. <laughs> Doc is always well, confident. He's not, I mean, he, there's confidence. Except in, in Call of Duty and PUBG absolute. and Apex. <laughs> he was confident in PUBG today. He was like, I'm having fun today in PUBG. No, I mean, like, with the developers. Like, like he's oh, never... Yeah, yeah, the no, he's Never. Up to every time he boots up Call of Duty, I'm like, I'm gonna watch Tim. I'm not gonna listen to this y'all fest about how bad Rage. this game is and how you refuse yeah. to play anything. Else. I saw him say it's the worst Call of Duty that's ever been released the other day, and then like literally, I'm he having... gets he gets done with this epic rant about how like he lists off all these reasons it's the worst Call of Duty game ever made. Then he's like, that's not true. I shouldn't say that. I'm being a little harsh. You'll bet he's Elaner and like Tim and though. anybody he plays with because he'll be talking about how bad the game is and like. Z laner will be like, yeah, 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 no, I could totally see that. Yeah, that's really bad. And Z laner's just like, this old man will not shut the hell up, and I don't want to <laughs> offend him and hear more from him. So I'm just going to agree with him. 